everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're in Houston, Texas, outside Taco Fuego. Taco Fuego, guys. Here doing an absolutely giant queso birria. Basically, birria tacos challenge. I've never actually done a birria taco challenge before, so super excited about that. So for this challenge, guys, we're gonna have 30 of their queso birria tacos, a birria de res, so it is a beef birria taco. If you're not familiar with birria, it's basically it's a stewed beef, um, lots of spices, uh, served with cheese on an oil drip tortilla, which is cooked on a very, very high temperature grill. So you get this like crispy-ish outside, super soft, moist, rich, rich, rich inside. Um, these are not calorie free, we'll put it that way. Uh, but we are gonna have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. Uh, but yeah, long story short guys, tacos. These guys have multiple occasions in the area. I know this one just opened up, which is super, super cool. But yeah guys, I love tacos. And uh, they have a server with a consomme, which is like a uh, beef drippings, you know what I'm saying? So you dip it in your tacos, like the dippy tacos. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway guys, let's head in, have some food. I like it. Houston, Texas, all about that kind of Mexican, but also Latin cuisine. They have lots of other Latin items here. That's what they are, a Latin kitchen, being like, they have pupusas on the menu, uh, the list goes on. So let's head in, have fun, let's squeeze food. All right, everybody, so here we are with all the tacos. Guys, it's really, really good. The queso media. Guys, these look super delicious. We got all that lovely looking meat on there. They actually offered, they said, do you want the cilantro onions on or on the side? So I said, hey, go, I mean, put it on the side, as added as I will. And they use a pickled onion, which is super, super awesome. And these guys were actually one of the first in Houston like, to bring the uh, birria to Houston a couple of years ago when it was that uh, birria craze. Also have the consomme, the drippy, drippy consomme. Here, let me, I'll wait. I'll wait to show you guys that imagery. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much about that. Also got their salsa verde, salsa roja here. Got some drinks, got some uh, cholula if I need it. Got some limes, all the above. So how about we start here? Just momentarily. Here guys, I gotta show you what's up. First we gotta take this taco. Let's dip it in this consomme, guys. This is the juice action. This is what everybody loves about media. It's your, oh, I just dipped all over the table. Look at that, guys. That is the juicy, succulent meatiness. Oh, that looks nice and hot. All right, let's give this a rock. How do we say the count of? Five, four, three, two, one. Let us eat. Mm. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay. Mm. That crisp, that crunch of that tortilla. Mm. Oh my god. That is the best thing ever. It is so rich, so moist. Mm. Oh my god. God. I need to like keep eating because there's a lot here, but oh my. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Right. That is done right. That video. Oh my god. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here taking on a massive birria and or birria, depends on your pronunciation, challenge, which are delicious stewed beef tacos. I feel like I need a moment. Oh my lord. Best thing ever, guys. Woo! And normally, I always like birria, but I would never usually say it's my favorite taco, but this. Oh my lord. What are you guys putting this? Is to uh, try with some cilantro, some onions. So a birria de res, birria, like beef birria is what we had in front of us today, made with a ribeye meat. Yes, they really go for quality cuts here. And I gotta say, the flavors were just so fantastic. I was really excited to get into this. Not only was this my first birria taco challenge, but Houston, Texas is just known for its tacos. It has a great taco culture. This place started off as a food truck, and then after having multiple trucks, they get a brick and mortar of such we are at it today doing this amazing challenge. So we had the 30 tacos in front of us, 30 minutes. Um, I think it's a reasonable time limit for the uh, amount of food, but man, were these things ever good. We had the uh, consomme, which this consomme is actually made with a uh, with like a, a tomato base and not a beef dripping base. So it's actually vegan, which is insane. 
Usually I love, love, love the consomme. The consomme is basically like a flavored juice or a flavored meat, which is what they dip the tacos in. But I always, not gonna lie, feel a little guilty eating it, especially the amount that I do, because usually it's full of beef drippings. This is no beef drippings in it, but I didn't even know that until they told me after. So I probably misspoke throughout the video. Um, it was just absolutely amazing. You could drink the stuff and I just saying it was so amazing. I was loving the flavors of all this. I mean, just if you've never had a beer taco, the crispy, crusty outside of that shell with that succulent, such like rich stewed beef is just amazing. I got the onions and the cilantro on the side, but I love pickled onions and the pickled onions, that acidity just kind of cut that richness. Uh, long story short, I could go on. I could just go on. I love this was just you know anyway so definitely hoping we could complete this challenge because i was enjoying every single bite um but pretty much this majority of the information like i said we're in quest for the free meal um this was definitely some great tasting food uh at houston if you're in the area stop on by because who doesn't like tacos i really like to use the pickled onions essentially the normal onions it has a really great flavor it helps break up some of that like incredible richness that beef juice that consomme. Mm. But oh my gosh, it's tasty. I do have the salsas here, I'll probably get into it in a minute, but woo. Talk about flavor. And let me know down below if you've ever had a beauty of taco. And if so, what you thought of it. Cause I gotta say, this was very delicious. So let's see what happens. So we have lime here, I'll try with the lime. I'm sure just another way to break it up. That richness. Not the biggest lime on taco person, but let me know if you use limes down below. Mm. Not bad. Mm. I right, guess a good combo. I don't know how many I am, I've eaten so far. All I know is, it is damn good. Just the flavors. The lovely fried tortilla. With that beautiful stewed meat. And they also do a media a pollo, birria de pollo, chicken birria. I've never even heard of that in my life before. There's salsa roja. That was pretty spicy. What's in the salsa roja, my friend? Well, it's gonna be the tomatoes, and it's gonna have onions, cilantro, and then it's charcoal. It's spicy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like like the roasted kind of. A little bit. Roasted. Cool. Let's give it. Let's give it a, give it a shot. Very good. I was expecting to be spicy. It's not like picante. Mm. But great flavor. Mm. Oh yeah, that little like that little char kind of cooked flavor. Yeah. Guys, woo. Anyway, we are uh, I think almost nine minutes in. Keep on trucking. No pun intended, taco trucks, you know? Oh, I forgot how good that was. That's just the way to do it. Every, have a sip of the Coke, like cleanses that palate. And then that rich constantly, oh my gosh. Let's try a little bit of this Roja. That right, is juicy.
everybody, we got three left. Very delicious. Thoroughly enjoyed all this. Definitely very heavy item to eat a lot of. I think this is the average person, maybe have like three, maybe four. Absolutely fantastic. Just like a lot of a lot of richness, you know. Last one, everybody. Woo! We're about 15 minutes out. Deck this one out real nicely. Because I can. I'll do some consomme, salsa. I love flavors. They got flavors here. Oh yeah. Uh, Excuse me. Compliments to the chef. Uh, Woo! Big compliments to the chef. Guys, that bite, wow, I'm gonna, let me repeat that. Onion cilantro, consomme, salsa roja. Don't sleep on the salsas, guys. or anything, right? No? All right. I'm figuring to double check. It's gonna be a lot of lines. Woo! All right, buddy, anyway. And we are finished there. About, uh, I think 16, maybe 40, something like that. You guys have the exact time on screen. Wow. What an experience, guys. I gotta say, that was Probably some of the best media I've had. At least had it in such a long time. I always love media, but I find man, some people, I don't know if they're trying to like make it really, how do I put this? Like, okay, like they're trying to really tone, I think some places tone it down. Guys, this was fantastic. And it's not spicy, it's not like picante, it's not spicy spice, it's just spices. There's so much flavor in that beef, in that consomme, in like whatever, everything in there was amazing. In that salsa, loved it guys. So, huge thanks to Taco Fuego. Guys, they're saying, you know, hot tacos, fire tacos. They're, they, they're on fire, I tell you, they got it really going down. That was absolutely amazing. Thoroughly enjoyed that. I totally, totally recommend stopping up by guys. You don't need to eat 30, you don't need to eat 20. But I tell you what, definitely stop by and grab yourself Bidia tacos, guys. That was that the Bidia de Res. That was amazing. He said, no, they have a uh, Bidia de Pollo, a chicken Bidia, which I've never heard of before. You know, usually it's like goat or, you know, goat. Yeah, goat and then beef, I believe. Man, that was freaking fire, though, guys. So, yeah. And don't sleep on these picked onions, either. I like that combo. Great addition. Just like that extra city really helps cut that, you know, beef consomme, which... I would probably drink that. It tastes that good. But anyway, guys, like I said, huge thanks to staff here for giving me a fruit. It's pretty cool. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate the, uh, the support. They've been more than friendly. And what's this What's this location called? Like, what's the address? It's 1114. Yeah. Silver. S Silver. Silver? Yeah. So 1114 Silver Road. This is their Silver Road location. Like I said, I know this one just opened up. And you guys got, what, a couple of trucks? Yes, we have different locations from you. Yeah, four, four, right? Four. Guys, and I hope you guys have more, because people got to try this. Like, this is, you know, I mean, hey, they're doing something right to have four locations, and I got to experience that today, that is for sure. So, yeah, huge thanks all staff, guys. Silver Road location. Um, yeah, just like north of downtown, I guess that's kind of fair to say. Yeah, it's right behind the Ikea. Really. Right behind the Ikea. There you go, guys. I don't know the area as well as these gentlemen, so I'm glad to have the local perspective, but we totally recommend, and uh, that I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that was so damn good. 
I'm gonna have to look at that menu, guys. I'm sorry, like, that was, that was really, that was like flavor. I'm all about flavor. I'm gonna check the menu. Maybe I'll try another bite. So, stay tuned. All right, everybody, so I got a couple more items to try. Just a couple, but guys, they had some really cool things happen. So this is what I found out. I was totally wrong. I misspoke the whole time. We have what is an actual vegan consummate. Guys, there's no beef drips in this, which is insane. I don't understand how it's not beef driven. It tastes so good. This is actually tomato based. So guess what guys, never started drinking if it wasn't beef drippings. Mm. Oh my gosh. So much flavor in that. So yeah guys, crazy. That you can like literally, I feel so much like, I don't feel guilty anymore. Like I, I was basically having tomato soup, which tastes fantastic. And then what I have in front of you guys, some really, really neat items. So this place is totally halal, which is super cool. Because they have, um, and with that, they have some unique items I've never actually seen before, in like not in like a, in a halal version. Like they have a media tamale, guys. I've never even heard of a media tamale. And generally, a tamale is made with pork and lard, so it can't really be halal. But let's give it a shot. And ooh, look at this shout out that the tamale actually stayed together. I found out they're overcooked. This is beautiful. So what do you, what do you got in here, guys? Onions, birria? Yeah, we got the birria meat inside. But the consomme juice so that we can rehydrate the masa. Oh my masa gosh. Onion, mm. and we get like a lot of tamale. Yeah, you definitely get that masa. Really nice flavor. Definitely that nice beef in there. And so really, I mean, it, it's a tamale. And that's like a definitely good thing when you put more of that consomme. Oh, ooh. Any excuse to eat that consomme. All right, shrimp taco. Now this is, this is huge. Look at that, look at the size of that. All the, uh, sing I know signature sauces, we got sour cream. We got the Cajun sauce. Cajun sauce. Guys, give us a bite. Ooh, crispy shrimp. Give us a shot. Mm. Very, very nice and warm. It's just like creamy. That's actually really good. Yeah, shout out that. This is the new item you said? Yes, the new shrimp taco, fried shrimp taco. And those onions. What do we have? Another few items which are super interesting. We got the street corn, which I'm gonna try here in a moment. But we also have a bidia papusa. Again, halal, which is super impressive. So if you're not familiar with papusa, I believe it's, is it Ecuadorian? Central America, okay, yeah, Central America. So in here we have the bigamy, it is a fried mesa. I always call it kind of like a hot pocket, it's the best way to describe it. But then we have a uh, pickled onions on top, so pickled cabbage, some cilantro. Let's give this a, let's go bite. Mm. Ooh, nice and crispy. Those pickled cabbage and onions on top. Really nice acidity. This would be really, really good. Next, I have this street taco. So this is actually like a uh, skirt steak. Um, they call it like a fajita, like a fajita beef, which looks really nice. I see some onions, some cilantro in there. I also got a side of salsa verde. Salsa verde, guys. Let's try that up in this biznizzle. Now this salsa verde looks a little, this is a, is there avocado? Is that avocado in this one? No? Like yeah, it's a creamier one. This one looks nice and creamy compared to the one I did earlier. Let's give it a shot. Mm. Oh, that beef. Woo! A little, 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 little spice to it. A little like picante spice, just a little bit. Mm. Great flavor on that beef, though. You get that kind of like grill beef flavor. What's in the salsa? Really good. Uh, like What's in it? Has, uh, jalapenos, serrano, tomatillo, mm. cilantro, and the secret that we put it in to make it look like avocado. Our secret. Yeah. Is it olive oil? No. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, there you go. I would have thought olive oil. Anyway, guys, but yeah, this is a really nice jalapeno. <laughs> Definitely seems like there's avocado. Well, apparently not. Secret. Very good. 
Last but not least, ooh, that beef flavor, I show that beef. What'd you say, you, what kind of cut did you make the beef? We also use top ribeye in the video, guys. Where does that happen? We tried, we used to work at a Brazilian steakhouse. Yeah, Brazilian steakhouse. We all the good Yeah. I mean, ribeye, you can't beat that. The flavor, the fat. Whatever we learned there was just. Major. Trying to bring meat. I don't you heard that, guys, but essentially they're saying that they know their cuts of meat, which I appreciate. As somebody who loves animals, animals are my favorite food. So I love it. Cows are my favorite animal too. They are damn tasty, just saying guys. Um, I appreciate that, that they know their cuts of meat and know how to apply them. Because that skirt steak, just that nice, deep, rich, beefy notes of flavor, like grilled, super tender, that fajita. Like I said, I'm definitely filling up those little guys. There's a lot, a lot of food. But I will try the street corn in the last, I was gonna say next, I guess last. Looks really good. Got some tahini on it. Some Parmesan, oh Parmesan, that's interesting. And some cilantro. Now you said also that this was, you guys are wondering, I have like one of the gentlemen right here. Hence, I'm able to have this dialogue. I eat, they know the food. Now what is the sauce? Because you said this is a little bit of a twist, right? Yes, yeah, so instead of using our mayo or sour cream, uh, we use our own chipotle sauce. So we use like small chili. Okay. So more, so more like a, 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 a chipotle aioli. Wow, that looks super, super creamy. I'm trying to show you without knocking it over, guys. Woo! Let's give this. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. I love the tahini on the lote, like that chili on the lote. As you ask for extra, see what it's all about. Mm. Whoa! That is a punch of flavor. Oh man. That cheese is a heem. That aioli. Super, super, super rich. That would fill you up. You don't need this in any of the other dishes. This is a, this is a heavy, and like flavorful dish. Woo! Now I'll just say goodbye. So, till next time, say happy, hungry, happy eating. Go to the spot. Talk fuego. And the fact that you can drink the consomme. Not feel bad about it because it's tomato soup basically. Game changer. Woo! Tune in next time where I try consomme in Mexican street corn. Till next Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.